I'll do so. Hi, I'm glad you're Hi. here. How was your emergency? Oh, well, you're still stable. Were you waiting for me? No, actually, I was scouting locations. Scouting locations? That sounds very Hollywood. It's for Jake's documentary. I thought it was for the police department. Well, it is, but I thought it'd be good to get footage on the police working with the hospital. You know, like your emergency. Oh, well, a knife wound isn't all that pretty. It's realistic. And besides, I can coordinate my schedule to match with yours. Oh, I like that. <laughs> so you haven't changed your mind? About what? About us spending time together? Not only have I not changed my mind, I feel even more strongly about it now. How come? Well, I had a nice talk with my mom about how my, um, my dad married the wrong woman to make a home for their child. And it didn't work out. Everyone turned out quite miserable. Including the child? Including the child. I'm not going to make the same mistake my father did. No matter what happens, Lisa, I'm not going to sacrifice the woman that I love. Charlene? Oh, you scared me to death. I'm sorry. What brings you out here, Matt? We're looking for Jason. What for? We just want to talk to him. I see. It's very important, Charlene. Well, I'm, I'm sure it is. Is he around? Yeah. Yeah, he's up at the house. I'll send him down. Thank you. Charlene, would you mind coming back with him? We need a witness to our conversation. He told me I knew everything. He swore to me I knew everything he had done for Marston. Mac, listen to me. You're very emotional right now. Please, let me handle the, the questioning, all right? All right, but get some answers. Gentlemen, what do I owe the honor of your company? Huh? You released those photographs to the newspaper. Photographs? What are you talking about? You took compromising photographs of Drew Marston with Amanda Corey. I, I, don't know, I can't remember what you're talking about. Really. We have Marston's word for it. No point in denying it, Jason. Mac, I took some pictures. That's, that's all. I, I didn't give them to any newspaper, and I gave all the negatives and the prints to Drew Marston. A smart businessman like you, you must have kept a set for insurance. The last time I saw any of them was what I gave them to Drew. I haven't even thought about them since you then. You expect us to believe that? Well, you take my word or his. That guy lied and didn't say anything. And, of course, you're a man of your word. The guy has lied to everybody in town, me included. How could you do it? How could you stand behind a camera and let that man humiliate my daughter, Mac. not move a muscle Mac. to help him? How Please, you... Mac. The same reason I did the rest, I needed the money for frame construction. But I didn't give any pictures to any newspaper, all right? Mac, I believe him. Why? I think there's somebody else involved. Somebody bigger than him or Drew Marston. I don't know what you're talking about. This, this conversation is over as far as I'm concerned. Mr. Evan Bates is here. Fine, he'll just show him in and that'll be all. Yes, ma'am. Here are the files that you asked for. Thanks a lot. I guess we should go over these together. Oh, sorry. Iris? Yes? This is Evan Bates. How do you do? Evan, this is Iris Wheeler. Nice to meet you, Miss Wheeler. Mrs. Hi, sweetheart. How are you? I'm okay. You, is she all right? Yeah, I really should take her upstairs and put her down. Okay, there. well, I'll go with you. Amanda Corey. No, Fowler. Whatever. She was born on the worst day of my life. It's taken me years to finally get my revenge. And I feel warm all over. <laughs> well, everything is going just the way we planned. Now, although there is one small question about bailing Drew out of jail. Leave him to rot. 
He'll do less damage that way. Besides, he'll be more inclined to follow instructions if he thinks that we're going to spring him. Anything else? No, nothing. I mean, everything is going just the way you said it would. Chief. Bye.